Hey guys, so today I'm doing a hashtag 365 days of samples. I have a Todd, my cat, on the bed behind me. Getting comfortable. So, I haven't updated you guys in about two weeks. I was out of the country and I have great progress and updates to share with you guys due to the two week little lag. So, I'm going to share with you the items that I've used up, what items I'm still working on and their current progress, and we'll draw some new samples for this upcoming week. If you haven't seen the hashtag 365 days of samples from me before, I was inspired by LS about a year and a half ago to start this. I've been doing it since January of last year and I am still doing it. I do it every Sunday except for the past two Sundays but I basically draw 10 samples to work on during the week and use them up let you guys know what I think about them and draw some new ones. So let's just get started. I have a huge handful of samples. One is from Dry Bar. This is the Bay Breeze Hydrating Shot. Now this is something you can put in your hair after you shampoo your hair. While it's damp, you kind of spray this all in your hair, kind of like a leave-in treatment. And I really like this stuff. They say that you need um, to do the whole bottle at one time. Really, you for me and my hair length, it's up in a ponytail now so you can't tell, um, I can do about two to almost three uses of this spray. I really have been enjoying it. I do believe Dry Bar is cruelty free which is amazing. I am definitely interested in getting a full size of this. My only little complaint is a full size is a bunch of little mini bottles or mini hydrating shots. I kind of wish they had just a big huge bottle of this and I could just spray it in my hair as I go along. The product is a really great inside but I think it's a lot of waste of packaging. I don't, since I don't use the whole amount of this shot at one time, it's just kind of pointless in my opinion to have a whole bunch of these mini bottles all laying laying around. So Dry Bar, I definitely recommend getting a bigger version of this instead of all the little hydrating shots. If you guys know if they sell something like that already, let me know down below because this product was awesome. The next product is from Sunday Riley. This is the CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. It says with 15% tetra hexyl decyl ascorbate. Wow, I butcher that and the gold standard of vitamin C to rapidly brighten the appearance of the skin and boost vital skin bounce in a flash. I really like this stuff. I do find it kind of similar to the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum, but this is a little bit less tacky on the skin. It definitely ab absorbs way nicer than the Ole Henriksen one, but the price of this is pretty expensive. So. If you guys are interested in this product, it is a really nice product. I definitely recommend trying a sample or deluxe sample of this product out before you go and spend the money for a full size, but this was a nice product for me. I don't think I'd spend that money at this time right now, but it was nice. I'll stick with the Ole Henriksen, a little bit more tackier. Uh, the next thing was a Bite to Beauty. This was the Multi Stick in the shade Papaya. And I had this on the last Sample Sunday update video. And this is all it gone. This was a set of three. There was um, Cashew, Biscotti, and Papaya. I've already used Cashew up. Loved it. It was perfect nude. Papaya was a great little pinky shade. Now I'm working on Biscotti. It is currently what's on my lips now. It's kind of like a mauve like nudie purple berry. I don't know how to say this. What do you guys think the color is? But um, I just opened it today and that is a whole bunch to use up so it will definitely get me through the next week or two of lip products. But yeah, I'm still using Biscotti. I liked Papaya. I would be interested in using this and purchasing this. I actually use this as a blush a lot of the time too in the shape Papaya. I used it with a... what kind of brush was it? Just a brush. I kind of used it with a brush and applied it to my cheeks. I really liked it that way and it was a really nice pink shade as well. So been really happy with the Bite Beauty multi-stick samples. 
Next thing is from Beauty Blender. This is the Liquid Blender Cleanser. I do have the full size of this. I think they might have updated the packaging since I've had the full size of it, but this is really great. I really like using it for beauty blenders. Um, it is a little bit more expensive than what I typically use for my makeup brushes. I used to use, and I'm still using because I bought like a whole bunch, of the Johnson's Baby Shampoo for my brushes, but this is really nice. Beauty Blender is cruelty free and um, this is a nice cleanser for especially your beauty blenders. I tried to use the Johnson's Baby Shampoo after this ran out on my beauty blender and didn't do as good of a job as this cleanser did. So definitely recommend you guys check this out. Next product is from Kate Somerville. This is the Sensitive Skin Goat to Milk Moisturizing Cream, and I use this as a morning cream. I really liked it. It is very easy to apply, absorbs into my face and neck beautifully. It doesn't have that highly fragranced of a scent. It is just a really great, and again, I do think it is safe for sensitive skin. This is a great moisturizer, and I am definitely looking into a full size of this was a great product. Next product is from Josie Marin. This is the Whipped Argan Oil Face Butter. Now this I used at nighttime. It was a little bit more moisturizing and thick than the Kate Somerville one. Was still great. I definitely think this would be a great night cream or a great cream face cream when you are in the winter time or drier months. If you are a little bit more dry, I definitely would recommend the Josie Marin. Now for the Kate Somerville, you don't have to have super dry skin. Um, like it's not going to be a moisturizer that will take away all of your dry skin, but it was a really nice one for just kind of like every day. It was really great for the morning and this is definitely more for if you have a drier skin, normal skin, and want a little bit more hydration to your face. But they're both really good. The next item I used up was from Amika. This is the Triple RX Mask and Sea Buckthorn Berry. It repairs, restores, and revitalizes intensive treatment for dry or damaged hair. I love the scent of Amika products. I don't think this is super hydrating or moisturizing. I used this while I was in London and I think my hair has been more moisturized before. So it's a nice product, but for me, I want something a little bit more moisturizing for a repairing hair mask kind of deep conditioner for my hair. So moving on to the items that I'm still working on. You guys have already seen, I'm working on the Bite Beauty Biscotti. So again, this is the shade. It is the shade on my lips right now, and I have a lot of product to go on that baby. The next thing is from Origins. This is the High Potency Nitamins. Now I didn't use this that often because I was using a Wahara face mask for like overnight treatments when my skin was very dry and I was using the other face mask. So I am right here. Last month I was right there. Yeah, right there. So I did use quite a, a bit up for having so many other face moisturizers the past couple weeks, but I can definitely focus more on this this upcoming week. It smells really great. It has a citrusy orange scent. Definitely good for night. Um, I say compared this to the Josie Marin, I like the scent of the Origins better, but the Josie Marin is pretty good and they're cruelty free. Origins isn't so I definitely purchased the Josie Marin over the Origins but I, I love me some Origins just wish they were cruelty free. The next thing is from Mew Mew I believe. This is the skincare blotting paper in rosehip oil. I had this in my sample Sunday video like the update before last and then I forgot about it last month so I am still using it. I don't think this is like a necessary everyday product for me. I can get some oils and stuff off of my face, which is nice. But um, yeah, I'm just going to continue to work on it. This has some gorgeous like marble packaging and it's really beautiful and cruelty free and natural ingredients. So it's just made in Taiwan, but it was distributed from California. My couture, that's what it's called. Paraben free, talc free, and cruelty free. So it is nice. I've never tried um, blotting papers before, but this is a really pretty one to start. I mean, pink 
pink papers on the interior and the marble. I can't go wrong with that. The next thing I didn't try, this is a Pharmacy Sleep Tight Firming Night Balm. And you guys know I had a lot of other face moisturizers, so I didn't use this. And I do believe that this is Firming Night Balm for your face. I'll have to look into that. But yeah, didn't touch it. Then I have from Ghost, I mean from Verb, this is the Ghost Oil Smoothing Moringa Blend and Weightless Hair Oil. I really love this stuff. I've tried a whole lot of hair oils in my past couple of Simple Sunday videos, Project Pans. I've just been getting a whole bunch. And my favorite ones, guys, is this Verb Ghost Oil. And I love the Balance Guru No Frizz Oil. Those two are my favorite. They're both cruelty free, which is awesome and yeah so I can't really tell much I only use this a little bit on my hair when it really needed it but I can concentrate a little bit more um I'm not gonna do like the whole hair oil deep conditioner mask for my hair where you just kind of put a bunch of the hair oil into your hair saturate your hair let it sit for a couple hours and wash it out like kind of like deep conditioner I'm not gonna do that with this because I do think it is best for getting flyaways and just kind of when needed hair oil so I'm not going to use and abuse this but it is a great product but I am taking it out of the Sample Sunday video series because I don't want to abuse it so uh, this is still going to be in use I really like it but I'm not going to abuse it so that is great product taking it out though and then guys the last product I can't believe I didn't use this is from Biore. This is the face strip. One a deep cleansing pore strip and I didn't use it. could use it for my chin. I could use it for my forehead. I can use it for wherever I want it on my face and I need to use it. I've been breaking out so I'm going to use it tonight. That's, that's the plan. I'm using this face strip tonight. It's not cruelty free but guys I can use it. I can't believe I didn't use it in two weeks. I forgot about it. I threw it in a um, in my like bathroom drawer and that was it. What is my, my cat doing? What are you doing Todd? He says I don't know mama. He's crazy. He wants food. It's close to dinner time. Okay so I am still working on one, two, three, four, five. Five items. So that means we're going to draw five new items in my huge bin. Yes I've added two of my samples. Shoot me now. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. First thing is from Pure Lease. This is the Tinted Moisture Cream SPF 30. I have tried this before, used up a deluxe sample of this already. I really do like this product. It is a fantastic like BB cream with SPF in it. The shade I think is just um, like I don't know what the shade is maybe just nude but I used it before and it matched me pretty well so I'm pretty happy to have this again. My current foundation the Urban Decay Naked Skin is almost done so yeah we'll be using that and it has SPF for the summer. Next thing is from Lancome. This is a big card. Okay, so this is three of their Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Wear and Comfort Foundations. So I have the shade Bisque, Suede, and Suede. There's Suede C and Suede W. I'll have to look more into that, but this is what that little sample is and that should definitely be easy to use up. They're small samples so we'll give that a go. Next thing here is from Diva Curl. This is the Whip It Good Wave Maker Touchable Texture Whip. It says it is for texture and volume. Diva Curl is cruelty free which is awesome. Um, it says it is light and airy whip made with morning sea gives consistent waves and first control every time you use it. Plus, it feels like there's nothing in your hair at all. So you apply it to wet or damp hair, scrunch waves all over with the Diva towel, and then air dry or use a Diva fuser. Only dry tussle roots with fingers or extra, for extra volume. So yeah, kind of like a leave-in, what is it called? Kind of kind of like a leave-in product that will help kind of texturize your hair and give you kind of curls which is nice because my hair dry 
air dried is like kind of like a half wave not really straight wavy curl so this might be a nice to try for that see what my hair looks like this next thing is from marina t it's all natural cosmetics it says the love marie lip gloss let's see what this is i got this in a petite vor box and just never reached for it the packaging is beautiful this is a cruelty free more natural ingredient product and the shade is actually tickled so let's give this a swatch and a sniff smells really good like bubble gum and that pink shade right there so this is a beautiful yeah it smells really good uh, a beautiful lip gloss to try and definitely a like everyday color so i'm definitely going to give this a try in this next month i mean that's in this next week, I doubt I will use this up. Let's be real, I'm not gonna use it up in the week, but I'll try it this week and let you guys know what I think of it, and then I will just put it in my everyday kind of collection. Then the last item is from Smashbox. This is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and it's oil-free. I have tried this before, it is really nice. I do prefer the pore minimizing primer over this like white photo finish primer. Um, I do like the Too Faced Primed and Poreless one better than that, but I am going to use this and let you guys know if my thoughts have changed. So that is everything for my hashtag 365 days of samples. I used quite a bit of samples this past couple weeks and I have some great samples to try this next week so thank you guys so much for watching I am super excited to play with these samples if you've tried them let me know your thoughts on them down below and I will talk to you in my next one thanks for watching bye